Hello class. Today I want to go over the graphs of tangent, cotangent, secant, and cosecant. I want to look at their domains and ranges, their periods, and their symmetry. Let's start with tangent. Hopefully we've gone over this graph. Hopefully you remember it. Um, it's zero at multiples of pi because the slope of a line through the origin pointing in zero pi, negative pi, two pi direction would be zero. And it's undefined. There are vertical asymptotes at odd multiples of pi over two. One pi over two, three pi over two. Again, there would be an asymptote at five pi over two, negative pi over two, and negative three pi over two. The period from one place to where it starts repeating itself, or the distance between the asymptotes is pi. For sine and cosine, it's two pi. For tangent, it's just pi. Now let's talk about the domain and the range. Clearly there are vertical asymptotes, so x is not equal to all real numbers. x cannot be equal to pi over two, because that gives you a value that's undefined. One way to think of it is tangent is one over, uh, excuse me, is sine x over cosine x. And cosine is zero at odd multiples of pi over two. Where on the unit circle is x zero? So what is the domain? The domain is the set of all x such that x is not equal to, and the way I can write it is pi over 2 plus pi n. Now n represents a neg positive or negative number. So we can think of this as being a plus or minus pi. Pi over 2 plus pi would be 3 pi over 2 pi over 2 minus pi would be negative pi over 2. The range, well it goes forever down and forever up, so the range is negative infinity to positive infinity, but since I'm in set notation, I'm going to write y is an element of r. Now let's talk about the symmetry. Tangent of pi over 4 is 1. Tangent of negative pi over 4 is negative 1. So tangent, if I can do this right, so tangent of negative x is equal to the opposite of tangent of x. f of negative x equals negative f of x. What kind of functions have that property? Odd functions. So tangent is an odd function. Now let's go on to cotangent. Cotangent of x is 1 over tangent of x. We can also think of it as cosine of x over sine of x, where tangent is 0, cotangent is undefined. So cotangent's asymptotes are multiples of pi. That means what is the domain of cotangent? The set of all x such that x is not equal to pi n. n times 0, n times 1, n times negative 1. What is the range? Goes forever down and forever up. Once again, y such that y is an element of r. Cotangent is undefined where sine is 0. Sine is 0 when y is 0. 
at pi, 0, pi, negative pi, 2 pi, and so on. What is the period of cotangent? Once again, we see that the period is just pi. Now let's talk about the symmetry. Here's pi over 4. If we go to negative pi over 4, it state the function changes sign. So cotangent of negative x is equal to negative cotangent of x. What kind of functions have that symmetry? Odd. I would recommend that you graph these in your calculator. Remember, odd symmetry is a rotational symmetry about the origin, and if you turn this function upside down, it looks exactly the same. When you've graphed it in your card file, you can do that as well. Now let's look at secant and cosecant. To graph secant, we graph the cosine curve. Secant is 1 over cosine x, so its vertical asymptotes are going to be where cosine is 0. 1 divided by 1 is 1. 1 divided by a le number less than 1 is bigger than 1. 1 divided by 1 half is 1 times 2 or 2. So, since cosine goes between negative 1 and 1, secant is always going to be bigger than 1, or equal to 1, or less than or equal to 1. What is the domain of secant? The domain of secant is where the vertical asymptotes are. We've seen this before. Notice the vertical asymptotes for secant are the same as the vertical asymptotes for tangent. If we write them in terms of sine and cosine, cosine is in the denominator. So the domain is the set of all x such that x is not equal to pi over 2 plus pi m. What is the range? The set of all y, such that ah, if we go down to up, y is less than or equal to negative 1, or y is greater than or equal to 1. There are no points on the secant graph between negative 1 and 1. When you do draw these graphs, make sure you put these points in here. Make sure it goes through 0, 1, pi, negative 1. Now let's talk about the symmetry. For cosine and secant, you will notice that there's some metric about the y-axis. Cosine of x is the same as cosine of negative x. Secant of x is the same as secant of negative x. These, if this is true, f of negative x equal f of x. What kind of functions have this symmetry? Even functions. And the last one, cosecant. y equal cosecant of x is 1 over sine x. So when we're thinking about our domain, the domain of cosecant of x is where there are not asymptotes. Where is sine 0? Sine is 0 at multiples of pi. So cosecant is undefined at multiples of pi, so the domain is the set of all x, such that x is not equal to pi n. Which other function has this domain? If you look back at your cotangent function, you're exactly right. They both have sine x in the denominator. The range, ah. The domain and range of sine and cosine are the same. The domain of secant and cosecant are not the same. 
however the ranges are. The set of all y such that y is less than or equal to negative 1 or y is greater than or equal to 1. I've chosen to use set notation because the domain cannot easily be written in interval notation because we're just eliminating some values. Now, I skipped the period, but I do want to go back to the period. And I think it's easier to see in with secant, cosecant. Clearly, the period is 0 to pi, 2 pi, or one cycle is 0 to 2 pi, a u opening up or a u opening down. I could go negative pi to pi as well. So the period of cosecant is the same as the period of sine, which is 2 pi. What is the period of secant? It's easiest to see from negative pi over 2 to 3 pi over 2, but I could think of it as going from 0 to 2 pi. If we put it together, the period is also 2 pi. It takes 2 pi radians to complete one cycle. The period of secant and cosecant is the same as the period of sine and cosine. Now let's talk about the symmetry of cosecant and the symmetry of sine. For both sine and cosecant, if I go from, I'll go down here, if this is A, and here we have negative A, if you change the sine of X, you change the sine of y. If you turn this upside down, it would look the same. So, if f of negative x equals negative f of x, what is the symmetry? If you said odd, you are right. All right, that's all I have for today. I'm also going to put a video, and it will be on Edline, of the transformations of the um, secant, cosecant, tangent, and cotangent graphs. Um, you can read the section in your book. You can watch the video. But you should have the section 5.4 homework done by Wednesday afternoon, and we will put problems on the board after the PSAT. Have a really good weekend. Good luck on the PSAT.